Okay, that was really weird. So, randomly, my stream just shut off midway through. So, start it up again. Bad enough as it right, is. Uh, I, I can this. handle Lord Whitehill. Well, I got certainly. this. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the burning <coughs> of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand Fuck up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men rule over. Fuck this fat shit. Look at him. Ah, I eat donuts Lord every day. Ethan, is it? Ah. My condolences for Douche. your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. Thank you, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> you piece of my shit. My regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. You fucking fat fuck. Don't test me, I bitch. Be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. They're trying to rile me, but it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your <sighs> head. You're fat shit, dude. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. I'm gonna fucking Your murder you, dude. I should have expected as much. Calm, Calm. yourself, old, old man. man. You little fuck. That's how you talk to a lord. You're not a you lord, you're a piece of shit. Shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North. Go right? fuck yourself. Bruce Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. Shut you squandered up. your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? <sighs> this, look at this douche. God, look at that stupid fucking haircut. Your man, the squire. So dumb. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. You're a liar. You're not. Look at fucking haircut. Attacked for no reason. That's not how it happened. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. Shut how up. Do you, answer so, you probably ate all the pigs, squire, you fat shit. Lord Ethan. He acted in your name. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Shut up. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Shut up. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Boom! Lady Forrester. Dropping Lady the mic. Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? He has, he's a piece of shit. Look how fat he is. I mean no disrespect to you, my lady. Look how fat he is. Considering your losses and all. Grabbing his fat rolls right there. This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. Boom! If that displeases you, then I trust, I trust you can, you can find the door. Lady Whitehill. Or sorry, Lady Forrester. Lad, Fuck the Whitehills. Maybe Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forrester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forrester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Shut I up. See whose word is law. Go eat another fucking donut, fat ass. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. Boom. A little insult on his way out the door like a fat shit. That douche. I want to murder him so bad. One, because he's a stupid fucking haircut. Two, because he's a, just a douche. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. Thank you, you were brave, Roiland. my son. 
But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Oh, we get to see Mira! Sometimes I wonder that I play this game too much like myself, campus. and I'm way too hot-headed. So, just a handmaiden, she has uh, there's, there she is, Mira. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Lady Mira. All right, let's walk around for a bit. Oh, what's this over here? Open this shit up. Open it up. What's in this box? Look at this shit. This is some nice shit. What we got here? Got a golden brooch. Sorry, high garden brooch. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. What else we got here? Carved iron tree. Look at this shit. Ethan Look at this shit. Tree. Oh, reminiscing. Memory lane. Oh, give this coin. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. All right, last thing we got. Ooh, an unfinished letter. Read it. Read it. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Ah, oh, she never finished it! What's this? Dusty old tome. That's a fancy One word for made book. By man, by Lomas Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Oh, Roderick. I hope to see them all someday. I'm so serious. What we got over here? Anything over here? Window. Look out the window. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Anything over here? Ooh, we got something. Letter from letter from mother. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. Mm. Come in. One moment. Oh, no. The so call boy! I, I didn't mean to disturb you. I love the call boy. Come, later if you'd like. come on in. Get, get your ass no, in here. It's fine. Come in. I love the call boy. Begging your pardon, my lady, but. Are you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm just worried about my family. Ah, letter from home, is it? It's kind of you to ask. Of course, my lady. You've always been kind to me. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. I love the cold boy. Because I feel like he knows something. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good yeah, friends. Yeah. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but... Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? Uh oh. That's not good! I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. 
I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Yeah. Yes, you do. Good night, man. That's why I like you. Because <laughs> I feel like you know something. I just don't know what yet. There she is. Lady Marjorie. Lady Marjorie. I was hoping there would be time. You're looking good, to... lady. Come. You're looking real There's good. We must discuss. Loading, loading, loading screen. From the day you arrived in High Garden, I thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. <sighs> You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mary, not yet. But Now's not the time to ask. Despair. We will get through this together. You must understand. I don't know if I believe Marjorie, what I though. Say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the north whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the Northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. That's because Cersei's a bitch. She was very pleased with herself. What does she intend to do? <sighs> she intends to make you miserable, knowing that will make me miserable as well. She demands oh, an apology. She wants an apology of some sort. For what, I don't know. But she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. Oh, God. I wouldn't God. ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. I'll do as you ask, my lady. Yeah. I knew <sighs> I could trust you. I will. Humor her. Loyalty. Tell her what she wants to hear. Tell her what she wants to hear. See if the Queen Regent is Called ready to it. receive us. It's a big ass doe. Big ass doe. Look at this douche. What are you looking at? Don't look at me. You'll be fine. I know you will. Thank you, may you Marjorie. Feel thing, I need but that. You say another. Good luck. All right, let's do this. All right, here we go. Talking to this bitch. Ah, oh, Terry, and I see you in the background. You can do this. Thank you, Marjorie. All right, start walking, bitch. Oh, here we go. Speed up. Why is she walking so fast and I'm walking so slow? God damn. All right, so the curse. Oh, there we go. Eh, Tyrion. Oh, Marjorie, aren't you looking lovely this evening? God, I love they use the actual Lord voices Tyrion. for this game. Your Grace, with your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira. Lady Mira, of House, House Forrester. Forrester. Oh, I'll, I'll kneel. Whatever. Your grace. Yeah, Girl fair she'd be pleased. Impressive. You may rise. Gotta play up to her. Gotta house play it up. Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, your grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Oh, of course you do, Cersei, you is bitch. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Uh, the girl can speak for her. Uh, house. Joffrey is the one true king, your grace. Hmm. And yet. Oh, shut the up, Cersei. The foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark. A house of traitors. You're such a bitch. There are wardens. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. There we go. 
That's a clever girl. Thank you, Tyrion. Perhaps Drink up, man. Drink up. The girl did and don't satisfy her. Nothing fucking satisfies her. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roose Bolton? They should, oh, god damn it. Oh, there we go. Boom. Also served the Starks, your grace. Boom. And proved his loyalty to the crown by bringing their house to a swift and sudden end. Go fuck yourself, Cersei. I hate you. ...are not easily abandoned. But now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forster Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. Oh my god, you're such a bitch! To prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. I see. That fucking smirk. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. Thank you, Tyrion. You're a bro. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Ah, oh, she's such a bitch! Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? She was just following her heart, Your Grace. And the very same heart so quickly led her to my son. If there's a point to this, I hope you <sighs> find it quickly. Seriously, thank you, Tyrion. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts? You are a girl from the north here in service to Lady Marjorie. One can only assume her interests <coughs> are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? Uh, I'm sure she the girl answer the question. Go on. My loyalties would never conflict, Your Grace. That's a coward's answer. I will not have my time wasted by a northern girl who Shut the fuck up, Cersei. Names. You're a bitch. Who do you choose? The king, of course. Well said. Marjorie, you God! Worry, you didn't I was clearly this. lying! Don't remember that. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaid in all of King's Landing. <laughs> I fucking love Tyrion. He's such an asshole, but I love him. This girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Shut up. Which is not very encouraging. <sighs> I'd like a word with you, if I may. Of course, Your Grace. I'll walk you out. Thank you, Tyrion. You are a gentleman. This may come as a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Roose Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These are trying times, my lord. My family fears what might happen now that the Boltons rule the North. They must still answer to the crowd. You shouldn't forget that, nor should they. That certainly took courage, to so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated. Although I was lying! Quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats, 
boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Help me, Darian! You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although, what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? Yep. I'll consider it. Thank you, Tyrion. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Oh, Tyrion, you always care about me. Mira, I was worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It didn't go very well. I'm sorry. Cersei is known for being rather difficult. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, what? It's true. And Oberyn Martell, the Red Viper. I'm told he has a paramour. Put it back. We're just having a bit of fun. That's probably for the best. I've heard he's a bit perverse. Perhaps Lady Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although, marrying a king? I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no! He does have a certain look about him. And he's always be, treated I don't want to be queen. Really well. I don't want to be queen no matter who I'd have to marry. Don't want to be queen? You northerners. You'd make a perfect scepter. Well, I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as queen of the Seven Kingdoms. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Shut up. Let's see. Who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? Marjorie dropping the mic. Well, I'm sorry, my lady. As am I. We shouldn't have been messing about. This is not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. You told me to, to say shit like that, and now you're pissed off about it. I don't get you, Marjorie. I don't get you at all. someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over? I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. Aha! Nailed it! Words to Cersei were brave, but I know you must fear what the Boltons might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I'm not going to ask her for help. My mother wanted me to ask a favor of you. For my family. 
But as you said, you're in a delicate position now with the wedding so near. And I would never want to jeopardize that. Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now we must both... I'm not asking for help just yet. My family is strong, my lady. I think last time I actually asked her for help and it didn't go well. So I'm going to try and not ask her for help now. Go with Tyrion. Because I think last time I said no to Tyrion and I asked her for help. So I'm going to switch it up and see how that do how that helps. King's Road. Wolf's Wood. Back to Garrett. Oh shit, I remember this part. <laughs> Seven hells. Oh, fuck. Here comes Ramsey Snow, the sadistic son of a bitch. Let's play a little game, shall we? Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? My best work, unfortunately. Nope. Oh, all right. Gotta go back. I have full enough practice, but he didn't make it easy. You can head back out. With all that bloody mm. noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. Keep watching. Keep watching. Oh, they're looking. Oh, go back. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets, but the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the warden. Uh, hide. He does now. Head back out. A little bit. Little bit. To these foresters. A day, my lord. Two at most. Oh, you idiot! You stepped on a fucking twig. My lord. Shh. Listen. Don't fucking Hear that? move. I know I heard something. Stay still. Don't move. Oh my god, don't move! Don't move. We've wasted enough time already. Nice. Check this shit out. Oh, with this, sir? Are you okay, sir? Oh, oh my god. He, yep, uh, he had all of his skin ripped off. That's terrifying. That's nightmare fuel. Yep. Awful. That is terrifying. Lord Ethan. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. Dude, it's fucking tired of shit climbing these stairs. Generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. Grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise. And what, what were they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. 
He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Time to choose my Sentinel. Summon the Lord. We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong. I was only trying to survive. Lord Ethan. Me. Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. I'm gonna Eric beat your ass. We're supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roylan said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's true. Right. I've a family to feed. There are not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. No. Lord Ethan. I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. No, it's not, we'll bitch. We'll survive the coming winter. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethy, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Ah, oh, god damn it, what do I do? I will decide. Send him to the war. Last time I think I last time I cut off his fingers. If you punish me. You'll be punishing an innocent man. You're not fucking innocent. You just said you stole it. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Take his fingers. Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. No, please, my lord. My lord, please. Please, no. <laughs> My lord, normally it is the Lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out. I will do it. Carry out the sentence. I'm the Lord, motherfuckers. Chop this bitch's fingers off. This is injustice, my lord! You fucking stole, bitch. You know what you did. Chop! Yeah, they will, dude. You fucking steal. You lose shit. Your fingers. Don't steal. It's that easy. Don't you look away from me, bitch. That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet our punishment when it's due. Yeah, and it was due. Not just yourself, of course. Didn't bother me. what I had to do, and it didn't bother me. You heard Ooh. what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. All right, that bitch loses his fingers too. You in the face of disloyalty, you need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom. But Maester, that is what the small council is for. My lord, you of all people should know that too many voices muddy the message. That is why there is one lord above all. And so there must be one advisor above the rest. There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do you know I'm going to... Right. Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. 
the badge of office. I think I'm, I already know I'm going to pick. Because I picked Simper Simper last, last time. Wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Alright, so let's go talk to some bitches, find some shit out, figure out who I want for my sentinel. So, Roylin or Duncan. Let's, uh, let's go talk to. Let's talk to Duncan first. Oh, we got food. So, Look at the food. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. Has anything gone missing? No, doesn't look that way. Seems Eric was the only one to resort to thievery. But I'm still worried about our stores. We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again, if you'd like. Mm. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. I trust you to make the right decision. <coughs> we'll have to take food from the small folk and hope they can fend for themselves. If the house falls, they'd all be worse for it. I'll yeah, see the arrangements. That is true. My lord. I agree with you. You got you got points, Duncan. You got points. Duncan. Yes, my lord. Duncan. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. Oh, he did, did he? Now I will do. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Actually, I wanted to ask, why did you send Garrett away? I did it for your own protection, my lord. Garrett had to go. By sending him away myself, I thought it would keep you blameless in the eyes of the White Hills. Indeed, indeed. Good I move. only hope to give you an advantage. And I regret any action you disapprove of. It's clever. A clever strategy. I do hope that's a good thing, my lord. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Hmm. All right, let's go talk to the guy first, because I feel like I'm... Last time I gave it to Roylan, which I kind of want to give it to Duncan this time, but Ethan. I will figure out in a hot second. I say Lord Ethan. Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. Talia, don't give me that look. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to where be going? tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother. Yeah, find Asher. She has asked me to return with him. I love no, Asher. Can't wait nothing. to do the second episode because that's when Asher shows up more. I told her my place is here, but I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. I must be firm. I'm not a boy anymore, and there is too much at stake. The Lord's work can harden a man. That's true. But my mother's fears Booyah. are the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. Ah, people are scared, Ethan. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. What do we do? If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Ah, that's Anthem true, but I don't know if I've... Ah, he's too hot-headed. To hot -headed. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. What do you want, Talia? You're being a pain in my ass. I 
I saw what you did to that man. Yeah, had to do it. The way you punished him? Yeah, he stole. He stole. How could you be so cruel? He stole, bitch! I'm worried about you. I stand by I my decision. I had to. I stand by it. You talk like it was the only thing to be done. Don't give me a look. you told me you'd have to change, but I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any he more mistakes. He fucking stole, no Talia. With Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. What do you suggest I do? I'll ask you your opinion. You must be strong. Decisive. You are the lord of this house. Remember. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. Thank you, Talia. I needed to hear that. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. All right. Uh. All right. Talk to Malcolm. Talk to Doctor Royalin. That'll be the last thing, and then we'll do the small council, and then we'll Door figure up. out who who to be sent on. Swing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know dogs and old swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many right. decisions to make, and I want, I want your, your advice. advice. Alright, uh, how are defenses? What's the state of our defenses? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot, ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest looking brutes front and center. That'll show Ramsey we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Royland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Thank you, Royland. Alright, so yeah, last time I... Last time I gave it to Royland, I think this time I'm gonna give the Duncan. Just because I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Duncan. Duncan, I've decided to name you as my sentinel. Congratulations. Why, thank you, my lord. I'm honored. But are you sure? Yes, of course. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Then I accept. But first, you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester Ortengrin to do it at once. Yeah, all right. Cause, I'm thinking too much, like, from reading the books and everything. I just feel like with uh, Roiland, the Snows, or sorry, not the Snows, Ramsey at least, yes, he Lord. is going to straight yes, murder people a number of people. try to fight him. Are you prepared to name gotta be slick with it. Gotta be, gotta be coy. Gotta be fancy. Yes, Maester. I'm ready. Very well. Ready, bitch. I will convene the small council at once. There we go, small council, yeah! Time to name my sentinel. Ethan sitting in the Lord's chair. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland. This house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on the Don't me. don't cut me off, bitch. Alright, Jesus. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. <laughs> I should I should fall. Oh my god, if I fuck Duncan over, that'd be so bad. <laughs> Duncan Tuttle, you will be my sentinel. 
Todd, this, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I will not disappoint you, my lord. Now, Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here, with no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. There's no need to panic. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. No, we should suicide. not. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yeah, Ethan. Tell them how to handle that shit. Sir Roiland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. We all must agree on the plan. We cannot leave until we have a consensus. Ugh. Why not make an offer for peace, my lord? Yeah, the wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Ah, oh, God damn it. My new Sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Merlin, shut up. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Thank you, Mother. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you. As we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Well, and shut wait. up. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? I will meet him in the Great Hall. A wise move, my lord. <gasps> it's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering you wrong? Roland, no shut up. Island. Lord Ethan has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord, but you are not ready to be lord of this house. You You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Sit down, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Apologies, Boom. my son. But now that it is settled, we know I am still. lord of this house. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. Hell no, worry, bitch. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. <laughs> Thank you, Duncan. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord, I have fought for this family for many years. Do not forget that. I'm not forgetting it. I'm just telling you to fucking listen to me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. Yeah, he does. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. 
He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength yeah, too. Yeah, I love Asher. He is so him, awesome. How he tormented you. I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, <laughs> he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. <laughs> of course, I love your father Asher. was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not. Asher hesitate. is amazing, acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but. You do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. You're a thinker, Ethan. You contemplate. And I think the being Lord quiet there that. was pretty but good there. But the Lord also needs swords. Malcolm. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Thank Mira you, stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Loading screen. Back to Mira. Millennium. Cool boy! Yes! You! Begging your pardon, milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, milady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I, I really must go. No, Please trust him. Back. Trust him. I know people who... Be willing to help you. Stupid fucking guards. Nerds. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I see you undressing me with your eyes. Perv. Loading screen. Here we go. Where's Sir Roy? Shit's about to go down. He should be here. The man values pride more than honor. We'll do without him. And without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready <coughs> to act if needed. Our plan is a good one. It will work so long as everyone does their part. Look at this fat shit. Fuck you, Ramsay. Isn't this a lovely pile of timber? It's not the place I'd want to be if there was a fire. Ironwood is near impervious to flame, my lord. Is it? May I introduce Lord Ramsay of House Bolton, son of Roos Bolton. Although a bastard, Lord Ramsay has the full authority of Thank the you, Warden Lord. of the... That's enough. Who is this little boy? Is he lost? May I offer you bread and salt, Lord Ramsay? I loathe bread and salt. Aren't you the little what a lord? Douche. Lord Whitehall told me you were young. <laughs> this. Look at you. A token. 
for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. No one can match our skill. Is that so? Go ahead, stab it. Yeah, bitch. So I thought. Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this. Apparently. Nope. They're pieces of shit. Look at that. More Forrester. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. No, no, no. no. Well, you can focus on me. We really must focus on the business at hand. Lord Ramsay, I understand you've come here for assurance of our fealty. Fuck fealty. We came here for justice. We'll get to your justice. Yeah, God's attention back. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord <sighs> Bob. I don't want to do it, but I feel like I should. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. We have to. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the king. You want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. Shut up, fat shit! Men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. No, you're mistaken. That's not how it happened. Our men are dead. 